Today I'm going to teach you measurement and the uncertainty and the relationship between both measurement. What is measurement? Measurement is quantifying of attributes of any object. So when you see a fellow human being walking around, there are seven, more than seven billion. If you see one of them walking around, what do you supposed to see? You're supposed to see a number. You take a ruler, you can find length, width, and height, and then you can find the volume of a fellow human being. You can find uh, the, you can, you, you can measure numbers uh, out of everything, um, be it chair, be it table, be it anything you can think of. So when you see something, you're supposed to, when you see a chair, you're supposed to think of, uh, think of number. You see, uh, uh, you see anything for that matter. You're supposed to think, uh, you're supposed to think of number. Uh, today we're going to consider A4 paper. So A4 paper. A4 paper. Okay. A4 paper. We're going to find the longest side of A4 paper. So if you have A4 paper, all right, and we we're going to put the ruler. And we're going to find the longest side of the A4 paper. And this is step and so on. And the ruler continues. Now, what is the true value of the longest side of A4 paper? Right? You can call it X. So what is X? Just like anything. So what is measurement? Measurement is... Measurement is quantifying is quantifying uh, attributes of measurement is quantifying attributes of an object. In this case, is A4 paper. This is the ruler. A ruler gives us access to the information. Uh, I can put the ruler and I can find the value of the longest side of A4 paper. Now, the smallest graduation of a ruler is millimeter, right? I cannot go smaller than that. Uh, it's pretty easy to find the meter because this is one meter. It's also easy to find the centimeter because it is 100 centimeter, but uh, millimeter, 1,000 millimeter, which is uh, the smallest graduation. Okay, so. I can estimate, I can estimate, um, let's estimate A4 paper, A4 paper, estimate, I'll estimate 28 centimeters, okay, 28 centimeter, and I want to convert it to inch, 28 centimeter times, uh, I want the inch on the top, so one inch is 2.54 centimeter, centimeter, centimeter cancel, uh, so 28 a 2.54 inch. All right. So now I also want to talk about the uncertainty. So what is uncertainty? This is definitely not 28 because I can do much better. This is definitely. How do we know this is 28? If I put a ruler, I have access to centimeter and I have access to millimeter. Okay. So uncertainty is the doubt, is the doubt, doubt in the measurement. There are two ways to fix it, or uh, there are two ways to go about it. One is uh, a standard deviation, other one is a standard error. standard deviation is standard deviation is for the sample s squared is sigma x bar minus xi over n minus 1 so let me explain what is sigma means if i put sigma n 1 1 2 3 all it means 1 plus 2 plus 3 6 all it means is 6 sigma means sum. That's what sigma means. This one is mean and this one is the individual data. 
so standard deviation is measure measures uh, variance with respect to to mean and a standard error measures measures uh, precision precision uh, measures precision from the sample mean uh, uh, measure precision of uh, sample mean with respect to popula population mean. I will give you an example what is the difference between sample and the population. So, consider section 60 of my Brooklyn Tech Reasons Physics. I have 34 students. If I find height of every 34 student and I say, well, the height of Brooklyn Tech student would be 5 feet 8 inch, would that be correct? No, because I measure only 34 students out of all 6,000 students of Brooklyn Tech. So all 6,000 of uh, all 6,000 students of Brooklyn Tech would be population. If I measure the height of every single Brooklyn Tech student and divide it by 6,000, that would be the true mean of all the population of the Brooklyn Tech. If I do it with only 34 students of my physics 60 then that would not be a population mean, that would be a sample mean. That probably or probably not represent the true value which is the population mean, uh, but sometimes we start with sam sample because sample is much easier. It is easier to measure 34 student height and get an estimate or rough idea of the height of Brooklyn Tech student then measuring all 6,000 students who should be really um, costly. Okay, so the standard deviation and the standard error. So standard error and the equation is uh, standard deviation over standard error uh, is square root of n. And that's it. All right, so let's consider the problem. Um, the problem is uh, let's take a A4 paper. A4. This is the A4 paper, and I'm going to find the 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 height, the longest side. So I'm going to put the A4 paper. I'm really going to draw the A4 paper. So this is A4 paper. So so this is the A4 paper I'm trying to draw. Okay. Uh, so this is the A4 paper, and I believe that this side is longer than this because, uh, yeah. So let me see. This is, and this is, yeah. So this is I'm going to call X, and I want to find the X. So I'm going to do for trial. Trial 1, I'm going to call x1. Trial 2, I'm going to call x2. Trial 3, I'm going to call x3. Trial 4, I'm going to call x4. And I'm going to use 4 ruler. Why 4 ruler? Uh, uh, let me ask, let me explain what is variance is. A few seconds ago, when I talked about the standard deviation, I told you the standard deviation measuring the variance with respect to the mean. So what is the variance? The variance is, for example, if I give you a physics test and everyone get 100. If everyone get 100 in the physics test, so variance would be 0. If everyone get 99, variance would be 0. If everyone get 0, variance also would be 0. Right? Variance means there is no difference between you and me, or Joe and Jack, or Jelly, or Joseph, or Jennifer. Everybody are on the same page. But that's not the case. The real one people really, one people is different than other people. So there is variance, and variance usually never be 0. Right? Even if you make 
4,000 rulers, the variance won't be zero because all 4,000 rulers won't be exactly same size. Um, okay, so I'm going to use four rulers to measure the the longer side of the A4 paper. So again, let's put the ruler. 27.4 centimeter. Uh, before I do that, I want to go over the other thing that is say 335.468 uh, meter. All right. Um, so now in this, um, I want you to find what is the name of this one? What is the name of this one? What is the name of this one? So the name of this one is millimeter. The name of this one is centimeter. The name of this one is decimeter. So let me explain what I mean. Uh, so let me write three. This uh, three. This is meter. So thirty meter. Let me write five. Five meter. Let me write four. Meter. Let me write six. Let me write eight. Now, instead of eight, I can say eight millimeter. And instead of point uh, zero six zero, I can say, can say six centimeter. Instead of four point four hundred, I can say four de decimeter, and five meter, and thirty meter. However, I cannot add them because, as you see, they don't have same unit. However, I can add them because they have the same unit, meter, 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 meter. So eight, six, four, five, and three meters, right? Okay, good. So let's go over. So the first one is 27.4. The second one, let's measure the second ruler. And so this is pretty new ruler, so hopefully I get some better one, 27.5. This is almost new, 27.7. And this is pretty old ruler, so that's probably gonna give me 27.6. Now, which one is the true value? Which one is the true value on the longer side of this A4 paper? We don't know. So we have to find the mean. So the mean is together, they call Xi. And if we find the mean, mean would be 9, 9 and 7. Uh, 16, 16 and 6 is 22, 28 plus 2 is 30, 8 plus 3 is 11 centimeter, divided by 4, we get 27.55 centimeter. We have 3 sig fig. So we're gonna only keep three sig fig. Okay, now we're gonna do the standard deviation. So the standard deviation is I'm gonna be doing it over here. So the standard deviation is equal to sigma, the mean, minus xi. There are only four in square and minus one. So x mean is 27.6 minus 27.4 square plus how many times? Four times. We're done with this 27.6 minus 27.5. We've done this. 27.6 minus 
Let's go down with this one. And the last one. 27.6 minus 27.6 square divided by this is n is 3 n is 4 actually y4 1 2 3 4 all right so 27.6 minus 27.4 is 0 0.02 plus 0 0.01 plus a square a square you can put back it doesn't matter negative point one square plus zero square over three so square is zero point zero four plus zero point zero one plus zero point zero one plus zero divided by three you can add them up like four plus one is five plus one is six plus zero six you can just you can remove this decimal by putting that many zero. So six goes to three hundred fifty times. So you square both sides. So S is zero point one four one centimeter. Alright, now you have to find the uncertainty, right? So uncertainty would be A standard error s over the square root of n so 0 0.141 divided by the square root of 4 so 0 0.141 over 2 so that would be what uh, 0 0.07 centimeters now you come over here and you write that value of this x you can write it this way measurement is equal to mean plus minus uncertainty. Okay, these two represent is x. So measurement is equal to mean, mean is 26.7 plus minus uncertainty is 0 0.07 centimeter. All right, so this is uh, what we learn. However, in the results physics, the good news is when you measure something, uh, so say it is if you have 52 uh, meter, then you write plus minus one meter. What does that mean? That means the true value lies between 51 and 53. Alright, so this is what we learned today.